seconds. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, as always. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Man, this floor is freaking insane. I can't believe it looks this good. 203-year-old uh, flooring that's been down here that looked like ass ass, and I mean ass ass before I started. But that's not why you're here. You're here because of the headline. And let me go on upstairs, upstairs. Look, okay, so you, you see, that that's what that floor is gonna look like. Over here, like this. And before that, it really looked like ass ass. Let me grab my coffee. I know one thing, I made a lot of dust. Probably got dust boogers hanging out my nose, but it's okay, because the Dallas Cowboys have signed a defensive tackle, an experienced defensive tackle that um, we got to look here. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me put you guys right there so we can find out about Carl Davis. Let's see. Carl. Davis. Carl Davis. Yes. He's been around the block. He's a big man. Big body. He's 31 years old. Damn. And he's about 344. Let's look up his stats, shall we? Okay. Mr. Davis. Carl Davis. Carl Davis, originally drafted by the Baltimore Ravens in 2015, played for them, not a lot, 11 combined tackles, played for them for two years. The next year is a defensive tackle, 19 tackles, uh, 12 solo, 7 assists, 2 tackles for loss, 1 quarterback hit. That ain't bad for a defensive tackle because what you have to look, because I know some of you are going to say, oh, those numbers are just ass ass. You know, he only got 19 tackles. Listen. Keep trying to tell you guys, you get no glory when you're an inside defensive tack uh, tackle, okay? A, a one technique guy, okay? You just don't. You are basically uh, a roll off dumpster full of dirt that they're going to hit. Uh, he then went to the Cleveland Doo Doo Browns, where he only played in five games, spot duty. He went to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, um, I'm sorry, not to Tampa Bay, two teams, Indianapolis and Jacksonville, uh, didn't get much playing time in 2019. In 2020 and 2021, he played defensive tackle for New England. His last year there was actually a very productive one, had one sack, 19 combined tackles, 12 solos, seven assists, one tackle for a loss, and one quarterback hit. Um, actually spent three years with New England. Very productive in New England in 2022. So he's been signed to our practice squad. He's got some experience, okay? He actually, New England was his most productive stop. He ended up having um, uh, 33 tackles and two sacks for a defensive tackle, nose tackle. Um, that's actually pretty good numbers. Was a... Uh, Basically, he was out on the streets right now, but he's been signed to our practice squad. Now, before you get too excited and all that, this is a move that's made to add more depth um, to the roster. And it's also meant to be a rotational guy, possibly, um, to help stop the run. This is a playoff move. This is what this is, because the Cowboys know that they have problems stopping the run. And when we start getting... Uh, in the playoffs to start playing teams that can run the ball like San Francisco, you want to have as many fresh bodies as you can, big bodies, wide bodies that you can plug the middle with. Now, I don't know if this says that maybe Mozzie isn't giving them what they want just yet, although Mozzie Smith had, um, had a very good game this past week, be it against the Giants, not a very good team. Um, but he started to make some progress. So we'll see how this works out. But the Cowboys, Carl Davis, not Jordan Davis. So we got our own Davis now, okay? Um, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to go back down here, sand the floor. It's 3 o'clock, so about five hours from now, we'll be live streaming, watching the Ravens uh, versus the Bengals. 
And um, can't wait to see that one. That should be a good one. And hopefully I'll get my man Game Time Brian in with me. If not, we'll go solo. And uh, we'll bring you any other news that happens with the Dallas Cowboys. I'm Mark Holmes, and I will see you. Well, hopefully I'll see you real soon. Um, I still got some more sanding of this floor to do. God. Get it sanded, get it varnished, and then I got to go pick up some stuff from the stove. You know how it is. There's always so much shit to do. All right, peace.